Greetings golfers from Duffer to Driver here and today we're going to be looking at how to deal with frustration as a high handicap golfer. Now for those new to the channel, I am a 27 handicap golfer who's been playing on and off for almost two years. This was my last round of the 2023 season. Golf is all about the high highs and the low lows and this round is going to have both. So walk with me on the course to see how best to deal with frustration while golfing. On the fairway, which is always a surprise for me, and this is gonna be a common theme for me today. Used the same hybrid that I used off the tee, but I whiffed the ball and my send it nowhere. nowhere. <laughs> I've taken a lesson since my last round, and so I'm actively trying to make those adjustments to my swing. I'm also trying to not take any practice swings as I find I can psych myself out. It's best just to set it up and hit it. That wasn't very good, but I'll take it. So today we are playing on the back nine of my local golf course. You usually cannot play on the back line alone, but Tanya and I were running late and the two strangers we were supposed to tee off with teed off without us. The back nine is always more quiet and relaxing. Uh, actually, I think it's on the green, so. <laughs> Really good first putt of the round. Aside from topping the ball really badly on our second shot, that's a really good start to the back nine. And I'm stunned that I topped another one. This is a little unusual for me, and you can visibly see my confusion and frustration. I set up another shot to try and prove to myself that I can actually hit the ball. overthinking my swing and now I'm topping it. So what do you think? Am I overthinking my swing and topping it? Let me know what you think I'm doing wrong down in the comments below. Oh, nice showy. Good job. Back of the green. So I might not be happy with my ball striking, but I'm pretty happy with my putting so far. Getting nice and close to the hole on my first putt. 200, don't kill it. Just swing nice and up. Oh. Not jump to the bunker, I think. Difficult distance par three for a high handicapper such as myself. This forces me to use the hybrid, and this green is surrounded by a huge bunker on all sides, oh. which doesn't help. Love getting myself into greenside bunkers. Guess how many tries it will take me to get out of this bunker. That was a really good putt. I mean, I'll... That's a good putt. Oh my god. <laughs> and here I start to death spiral. I'm confused, my confidence is shattered, and now I'm not entirely sure what will happen whenever I try to hit the ball. So here, I'm opting for the 6-iron, even though I'm in this really nasty thick rough. In hindsight, don't think it's the right club choice. And we top it yet again. That's the third shot, and still nowhere near a fairway. Check out where my ball landed on, like a f***ing stone step. We're in this way, though. So we're just gonna move this just like there. And we'll call that a day. I mean, fly is still pretty sharp. But whatever, right? Okay, just. 
happened. Jesus. Kira have no choice other than to try and bump it under this tree. Actually, other than it going left, that was really good. It's really starting to look like the only lessons I took were putting lessons. So here I smartly opt for the 7 iron instead of defaulting to the 6 iron, since I haven't had much luck with it this round. This one is going to take me to the fringe of the fairway, so no complaints here. Now, I usually tend to be generally positive on the golf course and try to have fun, but it gets very frustrating when you know that you can do a specific shot, but mess it up anyways. It's almost like as you get better at the game, it makes the misses and screw-ups that much worse. Feel like a good hole, but that felt like a good putt. So here I make the same old mistake of using a six iron in some nasty rough. Never ends well. Over the bunker. <laughs> that was very. You know, sometimes. You're just not on your game. So this is the first time I've ever been in this situation. My ball has landed right next to the 150 yard marker. I'm worried about hitting my club on the marker, but decided to own it, even with the marker in between my legs. Sometimes you just have to send it. Oh. Yeah, sometimes you're just not feeling it. Just not feeling it. Just topping everything. I can't hit my hybrid. I'm not going near my driver. And I got a bunker shot, which last time I was in a bunker, uh, it took me three tries to get out, so. It can be frustrating, but we're gonna try to have some fun. Good thing I'm like keeping track of my score. Otherwise, I'd be really bummed that I'm already at 100 or something. I'm not? Oh, I'm not in the sand. Oh, okay. See? She's looking up already. Now, it's hard to tell from this angle, but there's actually quite a bit of sand between me and the hole. And with my run of bad luck, you can see me soaking in the relief when things actually go well. 
What did I score? I have no idea. <laughs> I got a six if I only... If you don't count all the other balls. Over the bunker on the left. <laughs> Light. Bung. Fuck, over, over, over. Oh. 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 Wait, what is this? I'm going to attempt using my driver. So fun fact here, I didn't know the ball was resting on a tree root, so I'm about to have the impact reverberate through my hands. Lucky for me, the fringe of the green is pretty thick today. Decided on the driver to attempt to clear the water on the left before we lose daylight here on the 18th. Last group of the day, easy pace of play. Love this feeling. Okay, so just hit that drive and just like that, 180, I feel like a million bucks. I feel like I could take over, like I could hit any shot. <laughs> Makes no sense. I've been like overthinking my shots this round, especially on the tees and then it forces me to screw up. But then cause you're screwing up, you're like, what am I doing wrong? I gotta do something different. And then you overthink it again. So that one, I just tried to remember my body position from like my lessons that I took like months ago. When I rewatch this footage, it'll probably look like I didn't have good form, oh. but felt good. And I went a little baby fade, so that was good. And now I get to watch this kick-ass sunset as we walk towards the 18th green. I think much further ahead the red tees are. It's like the water's not even a hazard. I'm pretty sure I topped a shot in every hole this round. Now you can see here that I'm not exactly ending this round on a high note, and getting stuck in the rough around the green is not helping my score. Did I get frustrated this round? Of course I did. I paid for golf lessons and I'm playing worse than usual. I paid for lessons and I feel like I'm not hitting my shots that I usually hit. My putting was pretty decent, but my overall feeling from the round was that I played like someone who didn't know how to hit a golf ball we try to look at the brighter side of things. I got to play a relaxed round with my girlfriend as the sun was setting 
and we overall had a lot of fun. I hope you had fun watching this video. Please make sure to subscribe to the channel to see more videos like this one, and like the video to help like-minded golfers find the content. Thank you all for watching. I'm from Duffer to Driver, and I'll see you out on the course.